Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and welcome to This Week in WoW for the week of January 26th. As always, we'll start off with the Mythic Plus affixes for this week. This week we have Tyrannical, Bolstering, Necrotic, and Prideful. Again, that's Tyrannical, Bolstering, Necrotic, and Prideful. Let's go ahead and talk about what's going on in the game this week. Uh, this week, for the weekly event, we actually have the Battleground bonus event. Now, this is not might not be too great for your main at this point uh, in the expansion. However, it could be really helpful for your alts, or it could be helpful on your main. Let's say you still need to farm honor gear. Maybe you don't have enough time to play, you know, to have a PvE and PvP set. This is a great time to take advantage of the extra honor you'll get from doing Battlegrounds and, you know, just really soak up all the extra honor. If It, it might also coincide with just regular battleground achievements if so then that's even better right so uh, i expect to i'm actually going to uh, plan on leveling up another character just to just take um part in this event with that character and to get some gear for it uh, a character that i might want to play later i'm thinking about doing a mage uh next so um i i plan on taking advantage of it and i recommend anyone else who you know enjoys pvp take advantage of this week whether on your main or on an alt we also have the Dark Moon Fair just starting up. Uh, as always, this is a way to get some free level ups on your um, professions by going there. So if you still haven't maxed out profession, maybe your alts haven't maxed out their professions, you can head to the Dark Moon Fair and get basically a free plus five skill up there. Obviously, there's achievements, pets, mounts, and everything else you can unlock there as well. Always a big advocate of the Dark Moon Fair. Uh, other than that, there's not much going on in the game uh, this week, uh, so it's a it's a bit of a lull time already. This one downside of this expansion uh, is it's a bit it feels like it's going to be a bit slower paced. That doesn't necessarily mean the patches will be uh, more spread out, but it does appear like it's going to be a bit more slow paced overall. Everybody already knows uh, getting loot is a bit more of a, a slog, uh, so uh, hopefully. They're able to keep things interesting in between here. Who knows if they will be able to. I think they could do that with Torghast if they're able to expand on it by putting resources in and making it better and more variants and more uh, more, more fun. Maybe like a single player challenge mode for it as well where you can only do it as single player. Uh, just just make some interesting things you can do there. And other than that, there's just, there's just not a ton to do. A lot of people, if you aren't already... This week, you'll probably be getting close to being uh, fully exalted. I can't remember, Cordial or whatever with Venari and the Maw. I believe if you just basically have mostly been doing just like the weekly quests, that uh, I believe it's around this week when you would become fully wrapped up with him. If not, you, you'd be very, very close as long as you were at least doing the weekly quest, which give you a little bit extra rep with him. Um, so as long as you, you've been doing something there every week, you'll probably be... Uh, fully uh, wrapped up with him and obviously many people have been wrapped up with him for quite a while at this point so that is one thing interesting you do of course that makes Torghast easier and it makes you able to have sockets on your gear and uh, get conduits unlocked um, so based on your lowest conduits left to unlock uh, not necessarily unlock but leveled up right skilled up so uh, that's interesting and yeah not much else unfortunately for me this week, we will most likely get our Artificer Zymox down and then head on to uh, Sun King Salvation, which some most people think is easier than Zymox, so uh, we could get two new bosses down this week, which would be great. Um, I did Rated Battlegrounds uh, this past week. I posted a video of that. had a lot of fun doing it, so I think if, if my guild continues to do those, I'll probably try to do that and maybe even put up a, a video each each week that I do it at least of rated battlegrounds so i did really enjoy that and you know maybe i i'm trying to get more into pvp this expansion because like i said it's a bit of a lull and there's not a ton of pve stuff to do i could sit and complain about mythic plus system all day i've done plenty of videos about it uh, so unless there's any big changes i'm not going to do anything about it but um like any changes to talk about i've already said my piece on it um, it's just really hard to get a group, even for a geared person with a decent IO. I don't play a, a wanted class or spec, and my rate, my IO is only decent. It's not great, so uh, it's quite hard to find a pug group. Uh, but so uh, <laughs> I could do. I feel like I could do a video every month about that. 
but uh, <laughs> I will not bore everybody with yet another uh, mythic plus, way to fix mythic plus rating and stuff <laughs> video. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for this week. Still have not broken into the live stream yet. I, I think I just gotta have to do it before I get the internet upgraded and see how it looks at least. Uh, maybe even just do like a private one and then see how the video looks afterwards uh, after it's loaded. So. Um, yeah, that's it for this week. As always, I do ask you to subscribe to the channel because it helps me out so much. And other than that, everybody have a good one.